Apple is known for creating high quality products and the Apple Studio display, no exception, of course. However, the Studio display has had its share of controversy, detractors maybe, whether it's over the price or the features, but even with those issues, this display is absolutely, <sighs> Apple has been producing 5K 27 inch displays for a long time. After using the studio display for this one year, I can confidently say that it has exceeded my expectations. The display has become an integral part of my working setup and I can't imagine going back to a lower quality display. I mean, the difference in image quality is remarkable, even if you don't recognize it like as you're working. And it really has helped with the eye strain. Eye strain is something I struggle with quite a bit. When I was setting up this space, I didn't have uh, 5K displays to go everywhere. In front of me, I have a 1080p uh, monitor from LG and back there is the Razer Raptor that's 1440p, 144 Hertz. And I'd just been using the studio display for a little bit before I set up this space with these monitors. And I have to admit, that it took some time to adjust to the lower resolution and the lower quality. The text looked super pixelated on both screens. It was really, I hadn't really had that kind of experience before. The design, the quality of the materials is also something that is worth talking about. It has that Apple-esque minimal design. It's not just about like the slimness and the looks and all that kind of thing. The materials are great. The aluminum is really solid and high quality. All of the ports are very, uh, what, what, what's the word for it when you when you plug a cable in and it just like it goes thunk it's really a pleasure to work with now i would love to be able to move the display up and down and not pay an extra several hundred bucks or whatever that costs you know apple does have a reputation for kind of nickel and diming you for those extra uh features the pro display xdr doesn't even come with a stand you have to pay an extra thousand dollars for it so you know, you take the good with the bad. One thing that I didn't really expect to appreciate, but has turned into something that I really like is the fact that the design of the display with the very small foot and the very thin kind of no humpy back or anything like that, like a lot of displays might have, has made a lot more room available on my desk, which has allowed me to sort of have a more comfortable working experience and, and sort of arrange things in a different way. And if you're somebody who likes to buy things and have them for a long time to get the value out of them, I think the Apple Studio Display, even with the price being uh, higher than most people would wanna pay, I think the Studio Display is a good buy because, I mean, I have a friend who just has been using the Apple Cinema Display, the first one that had like the plastic bezel and all that kind of stuff. He was using it up until, I think it was like a week or two ago, and, and it crapped out and he had another one that he just put in in that place. And that monitor is over, <laughs> over 20 years old and it was still working fine. Now I'd be remiss if I did not talk about the fact that there are some things going on with the studio display that it, I think for a lot of their users are gonna be somewhat extraneous and somewhat uh, unnecessary. And they are kind of controversial in the fact that for price to performance, what are you getting? Now, the speakers on the studio display are very good. They are very impressive. However, if the studio display is for the, the professional who doesn't need like a $50,000 Mac Pro and a $6,000 Pro Display XDR, uh, but they are a professional, is that professional going to need really good speakers in the monitor. Um, my my guess is no. The biggest problem with the studio display, in my estimation, is the camera that's built in. I mean, it's nice to have a camera built in, but the camera that's in there is straight up trash. And it's just not good. It's not good. And in one year, it hasn't gotten all that much better. My MacBook Pro's camera is a thousand times better uh, for reasons I, I don't I don't even know. I don't understand. Apple always makes some kind of weird, funky decision about a product that then becomes controversial because it sucks. And then the last thing that is kind of weird and people complain about it, but for me, I don't really see it being that big a deal is there's the Thunderbolt connection. So USB-C Thunderbolt connects it to your computer. There's no HDMI, there's no display port or anything like that. So you've got one input. 
sure, a lot of other monitors give you more inputs, but I don't know. There's an HDMI on my MacBook Pro, but I wouldn't want to use that over the Thunderbolt that comes with the studio display. Now there's the three USB-C that are on the back. Why aren't those Thunderbolt as well? Truth be told, USB-C, it's high-speed USB-C going through Thunderbolt to your computer. It, it doesn't really make that big a difference to, to, for what's basically a dongle. And the nice thing about it is, if you play your cards right, or if you don't have very many things to attach to your computer, you could be like one cable to the computer and then a few things plugged into the back of the studio display and you're good to go for the use case that most people will have for this studio display. It's one cable plug and play. It integrates so well with the Mac that it doesn't even have any kind of controls on it itself. You just control it from the Mac, which Again, people were like, well, how do I plug it into Windows? I mean, seriously, are you going to plug it into Windows? I don't the question is, after one year, is the studio display worth the $1,600 that I paid for it? I will say yes. And if you're sitting there thinking like, wow, that's a big investment. Should I get the studio display? I'm going to say Yes, you've got the great screen, you've got the build quality, you've got the longevity that that's gonna have. It's got a lot of things going for it that just aren't gonna be available on a third-party display. From the 5K, and the reason it's 5K is because of the way Mac OS scales. If you try and use a 4K monitor with Mac OS, it looks weird. If the 1440p is actually what scales more correctly if you wanna do that. It's a 5K monitor because of the way Mac OS scales. I'm glad that I have it. I still sometimes think about the price and think like, that's a lot of money. Having used as many monitors as I have, I, I can readily say that this is for Mac OS, for any whatever Mac you have, and you wanna pair it with a monitor, this is the best you're gonna get. You let me know what you think down in the comments below. There are links to everything I've discussed here in this video down there as well. And if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna you know, enjoy more Painfully Honest Tech, then hit the subscribe button, like this video to let YouTube know that, I don't know what YouTube does with that information. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL Painfully Honest Tech. So honest it hurts. Until next time, I'm out.